Hello everybody, this is Leanne and this is a paperclip cluster. Have you made one before? Are you familiar with them? Maybe you're not. Well, either way, this is what I'm going to be working with today and sharing with you how to make it. The first thing you need to do is pick an image. So I selected this image and if you look down below there is a link of how and where you can get this for free. So you want to select an image and then it just takes just scraps. just not much of anything to make. So you want to have a base. If you turn that over you see the base of that with the paper clip. I just use this file folder. It has some stability to it. it gives it a little bit of strength. Then uh, pick some just pieces of scraps that you want to tuck within it. I also use some ink to, for the edges. Paper clip, a little word, and a punch. So let me show you how it works. So you, once you have your image, and this is the image I'm going to be using, I want to tell you about this first. So when you print on images off of um, the internet or wherever, whenever you print off, print off images, the paper that you use really makes a difference. So this particular paper right here, this is a presentation type paper, and it's, it comes out smooth and the color's nice and vivid and crisp. And this is the same kind of print printable, but yet it's done just on regular cardstock. And do you see the difference in the images, in the coloring? This one, this one right here ends up being more muted and the colors aren't crisp. The images is more blurred within the lines. So you would get that same effect also if you printed this on copy paper, but it would probably be even less crisp than this one would be. So anyway, keep that in mind as you're printing this uh, printable or any other printable that your paper really makes a difference. So I'm picking up this little one right here and what I'm going to do initially I want to cut it out and then I'm going to rip around the edges. I like that rip look for it. It gives it just kind of a nice little rustic rustic look and rustic feel. So when you're ripping your paper I don't know if you know this but if you don't let me share it with you. If you rip up you're going to get a little extra ridge look to it. It's like it has a little layer to it. If you rip down, that layered look part is going to show up on the underside of the paper. So when you're ripping something and you want a little bit more look to it, go ahead and rip with your paper coming up towards the ceiling. So go ahead and rip away. I'm just trying to rip kind of close to the edges where the coloring is at and then I have my little shape. I'm going to go ahead and move my camera down a little bit if I can. There we go. Okay, I have my shape here. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to take that ink that I showed you early. This is just the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Oh, that's a little scary. Alright, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I'm just lightly going around the edges. It gives it just a little bit worn look to it. I have the white down there, so I want to go just a tad bit more. And there you go. That's it. Covers up those raw, bright edges so it's not where your eye just, just goes to so quickly. So I've got my image ready. I'm going to go ahead and get my backing ready now. Move that out of the way. So with my backing, I just need a little piece, just something that's big enough to hold the paper clip and to hold my image. So something like that is fine. So I'm going to cut it down a little bit. Now that I have it the size that I basically want it. And then I'm going to grab my paper clip. Actually, I have one right here I'm going to grab. And I'm going to put it over the edge of the clip. Now, for this particular image, I can have the image going up, in which case, case I want the paper clip to be at the top. I like that. Or I can have the image coming um, from the side, in which case I want the paper clip to go there. So how about I'll make this one, I'll make it just like that. I'll make it at the top still. So go ahead and place your paper clip over the top of your base piece. I like gluing the larger size inside of the paper clip. So I've used my hot glue gun actually for this because I think it adheres better. I put just a little smidgen of it and then I um, swerve the paper clip in it just slightly for it to catch on to it and then I let that dry. So that's the base that I'm working with. Now 
I should turn that that way. Now, what I want to do is use the background. So I used just some little pieces of a scrap paper that I had, was, which is this pink stuff. And I want to line it up, try to fl find areas where it's kind of peeking out a little bit. And I might have to glue it in several different parts. Actually, glue is another thing that we use. I use this uh, tacky glue from Scotch. It's a fast drying, quick grip glue. So I'm just going to put just a touch on there. And I'm going to put that behind. And I think I want a little bit more peeking out. Can you see how it's peeking out at, at a few different aid places? So I'm going to go ahead and just peel off a little bit more. And maybe put a little bit at the bottom there. It's really wherever you want it. If you want a little bit more, if you want a little bit less, it's really up to you. It's kind of the beauty of making these. It's it's whatever you want. But the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And some things people don't like, and some things other people like that thing that they don't like. So hey, do what you like. So I'm gonna put just a tad bit more picking out there. So just rip and rip and paste. That's all it takes. So now I have my pinks on. I'm going to go ahead and pick out some, this is just music. It's an old hymnal that I got at the thrift shop. So I want a little bit, I want the notes picking, picking, peeking out just a little bit. So how am I going to do that? Let me try this side. Oh, I like that where it kind of peeks out the top there. So I think this is how I'm going to lay it. Maybe over a little bit more. I think what I'm going to do is um, put this here and then I'm going to do another another gluing. I'm going to rip again, keeping those notes inside. But I want just a touch more over here on that side. So I've got my little tiny piece. I've got my notes. And I'm going to just rip it a small piece so that those notes is what's seen. So I want it just a little bit more, and I don't know what that's going to look like. Maybe right there. That's good. That's it. So it's just, just the tip of those notes are going to be sticking out. So I'm going to go ahead and glue like that. So also then what adds just a nice added bit of um, interest is putting in some of this. So I have, ideally you could actually put this in before you add the music parts. You know, it, it might be easier for some. I usually leave a little bit space open. See how that's open there? So that I can have a place I can tuck it and secure it. So whatever works out easiest for you though. So I have that space. So I'm going to put a little more glue there. And see how that just kind of sticks out over the top? And then I'm going to, I don't want too much sticking out, so that other one I'm going to kind of glue back there. And I think I want a little of it down here, so I'm going to cut off a little bit more. This is just like cheesecloth or gauze. Uh, last year, at the end of Halloween, they had all this gauzy stuff at Hobby Lobby left over. And so, uh, I when I bought that, it was on clearance. It's like, oh, this is just great. So, oops, there were two pieces there. So now, see, see how I've got that little, those little rough edges kind of sticking out. Just, just gives it a little bit more of a tattered look to it. Sticks to your fingers though. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that same pink paper again, and this is a heart punch that I got at Hobby Lobby. Punch that out. There's a holder in the bottom. So I don't want it too bright looking, so it's a little bit more um, bright than I would like it. So I'm going to take my Distress ink again, and there's probably enough just on my... Mm, sometimes there's enough already on my little dabber here, but I'm going to grab a little bit more. So I want to just tone down that color a little bit and maybe touch the edges up to give them a little bit more depth. I'm about to sneeze, so excuse me if I do that. 
Achoo, excuse me. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is place my heart down there. So I've got my heart. I'm going to put it down. Sweet, so there's that empty space there that it fits so, so nicely. So another page that you can get free at the same place where you get the kitty. It, there's a, it's a word page that I made to go along with the kitties. So, and one of the words is love. So you can either cut that out, but I'm going to go ahead and rip it, just like I did the other one, just to kind of give it a little bit of a shabby, tattered feel to it. And it's gonna go right there. So I'm gonna check out the size and see if I have it cut down small enough. I think it's fine. So once again, I want to um, just dull that bright white a little bit. So sometimes I've actually done my copying on a, a cream colored paper. Works out nicely. You don't have that brightness. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my love. Let's see. Nice. So I've got love glued down. So now the next part is I'm going to take this. My glue is now dried on my little base. I'm going to put the edge that has the glue on it next to my piece. So there's a glued edge. Those are going to go together like that. So I'm going to pick this top direction because that's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm going to pick how even or the so this this goes straight up and down. So if I want it to slant more like that or like that, I want to get that aligned with the clip. So at this particular point, you can use your regular tacky glue. Just go ahead and glue it down. If you want to, though, you can use um, some of your hot glue. Actually, it's not a bad idea just right there to put a pinch because you've got that um, paper clip sticking up. And so with the hot glue, it's just a quick quick stick to it and it's a it's a strong one so another thing that you want to keep in mind is how far down you put your paper clip so like this one I have it right on the top so when I put it on a page like this page so when I put it on a page it's going to go flush with the top of the page this other one I made so that it would go down a little bit so that when I put it on the page it's going to stick up a little bit well, here I'll do it from this side it'll stick up a little bit so you uh, when I turn the page I'm going to see this at the top of the page on the other side so here's my newly completed one and the first one doesn't take very long and it doesn't take very many things you're just using your little scrap pieces with you so let me show you some other ones that I was just playing around with. These are some other clusters that I just made. I was playing around with, I got these little teeny tiny puzzle pieces and I wanted to try putting them in some little clusters. And I love this, this little pink one with the crossword puzzle with it. Anyway, so there you go. There's a new little thing for you to try if you haven't tried already. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click like, like my channel, and get your printables if you like the kitty. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.